make sure I caught up all here before we before we get the hell out of here because I've been running late lately and I don't want to do it anymore. It is come up its time though, and they can't they can't they can't run from this forever. And doing the right thing takes guts. There, there is, it gets to a point where if it's a ser- if it's serious, if this is about something that matters, it will not be easy just by virtue of what it is. You, you like people shy away from anything hard, difficult, confrontation, you know, obstacles because who likes that? They don't like it. It's not fun. So they don't do it. They shy away from, they take the weak option. They take the, you know, playing it safe. They don't stick to their guns. And they hide when it gets hard. This is not a winning attitude. These are not people that are reliable. These are not leaders. Because early on, all of these people, these, these, these fringe minorities, scumbag, unvaccinated people, all their, you know, you had to fucking show up and be like, do it. Fire me, motherfucker. You know how hardcore that is? Take my job. I don't give a fuck. I'm not taking your shit. I'll, throw, I'll fucking wing it. I'll just get a new job wherever. I don't give a shit. I'll go live in the woods. I know people that did. And they're doing fine. Some of them are doing better than they were before. Some of them aren't, but they're hanging in there and they have their dignity and their self-respect and mentally they're stronger than they've probably ever been in their lives. They found some resolve and now they have, they believe in something. They believe in themselves. They had strong enough belief in themselves that they could handle this and they could figure it out and they didn't need the fucking state to come, you know, wipe their bum for them, pat them on the belly and say they're a good boy. Everything is against you. Everything, you know, piled on. The media piled on. The government piled on. Celebrities piled on. Everything you could fucking imagine was coming at you from every direction. You're a bad parent. Maybe we'll take your kids. You imagine the angle of fear, the angle of gaslighting, whatever it was that they could find a way into your psyche to find crack, try and crack these people, and they couldn't do it. But it's going to create doubt. It's going to create fear. It's going to create all kinds of things. I guarantee there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they went through it. There were times where they very much debated just tapping out and going, like, fine, I'll just do what they say, whatever. I'll back down. I'll just back down because it's easier. And they regret it. They're the ones, some did it and they regret it. I know them. They did. Um, and And that was done to them. But, you know, what did you learn? You can't. Did it make it better? Did it fix your problems? You just kicked the can down the road. So it, you know, in a way, and it's it's brought a lot of these, it's brought this community together, a lot of different people together. You have pe- new people in your lives now. Hopefully, if not, you should go find them because I I'm telling you from experience now, it was a hunch, and now it became oh they're everywhere. Trust me, people that think just like you, they would love to find you and hang out with you and be your friend. They're ev- they're everywhere. They're just, there's no, we're not being actively, you know, assisted in finding each other because they hate us. You know, they, they, this, they hate, it hates our guts. Some of these people have found out that like, oh, maybe, maybe you do, uh, maybe you do have some leadership qualities, you know, maybe you're stronger and tougher than you thought. Cause sometimes when it comes down to it is you're just going to have to bite the bullet and stand in front of the, uh, stand in front of whatever's coming and say, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But uh, this is, this is what I'm going with. And this is what we're doing. Let's go, bring it. There's a great example of this in a movie that I love that I uh, came across re- recently. In, uh, Full Metal Jacket. Who doesn't love that one, hey? I love this scene. It's, it's, it's great. And it's confusing to people that aren't in the military, I guess. But probably not. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, check this out. Divine worship at 0800. Get your bunks paid. Get your uniforms on. Police call will commence in two minutes. I'm a cowboy. Private Joker. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. As soon as you finish your bunks, I want you two turds to clean the head. So here's the authority figure, the, the gunnery sergeant, who's basically the, their god. Um, 
much like perhaps the government would be, you know, whatever it is. This this guy has the power to really fuck your life up if he wants. Uh, if you, you know, so, you know, that's what you're dealing with first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. I want that head so sanitary and squared away that the Virgin Mary herself would be proud to go in there and take a dump. Sir, yes, sir. I'm a joker. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? Sir, no, sir. Uh-oh. He just said no to the current thing. That's not good. See, because Mr. Authority Man very much likes that current thing in this scenario. And uh, there's going to be an issue here. So now he's going to test him. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Oh, private joker. I don't believe I heard you correctly. Sir, the private said no, sir, sir. Are oh, you little maggot? You make me want to vomit. You goddamn covenant either, and you had best sound off that you love the Virgin Mary. Or now he's physically abusing He's beating him screaming at him and demanding that he recant you know his beliefs whatever he just said he died you you fucking shut that shit down you change your mind right now i'm gonna stomp your guts out or i'm gonna hurt you even worse you better do what i say or else now you do love the virgin mary don't you sir negative sir private joker are you trying to offend me sir negative sir sir the private believes that any answer he gives will be wrong and the senior drill instructor will beat him harder if he reverses himself, sir. Who's your squad leader, scumbag? Right away. Great answer, you know? No matter what I do, you're going to fucking hate me anyway, so trying to please you is pointless. I might as well stick to my beliefs anyway. There is no point in trying to appease you. You're just going to beat me anyway, no matter what answer I give. If I go back and change my mind, you're going to beat me for being weak. You're going to... So fuck it. No. No. Fuck you make me, drill sergeant. What does he do? I'm a snowball. Sir, private snowball, what do you got him, sir? I'm a snowball, you're fired. Private Joker is promoted to squad leader. Sir, aye, aye, sir. Yes, the bear's come back. Sir, aye, aye, sir. Private Pyle. Sir, Private Pyle, I'm boarding sword, sir. Private Pyle, from now on, Private Joker is your new squad leader, and you will bunk with him. He'll teach you everything. He'll teach you how to pee. By the way, this guy here, when this movie came out, he was the fat guy. This guy on the screen right now, the guy that played Private Pyle, he was the fat guy everyone made fun of for being fat. That was fat in 1988. Okay? Okay. Sir, yes, sir! Private Joker is silly and he's ignorant, but he's got guts, and guts is enough. Now you ladies carry on. Sir, aye, aye sir! Promotes him for stick having the balls to stick to his guns and stand in his face like that in, in the face of probably a definite beating. You know, promotes him and then puts him in charge of this guy who sucks. Right? It's a great quality. Secular Double Sevens has got to admire the sneakiness of the Grand Pooh, but to fondle the precious elements.